going on, y'all? What you got, Rashad? I was... The plan was to do a uh, follow me to work today. Uh, that was the plan. But see, what had happened was uh, it was so busy and hectic this morning that there was no time to start the video. We started about 4.30 this morning to get down here. Downtown Seattle. We're on Westlake. Lake Union building behind us. Uh, we are out here with the food truck. It's another food truck day. It is food truck Friday here at uh, Fox 13 in Seattle. They asked us to come down. We were flattered. We were like, hell yeah, we'll come down because we love food truck Friday too. And we love uh, places giving the little guy a shout and uh, a chance to support small local businesses. So we was like, hell yeah, let's get down there. And we was gonna do this whole follow us to work. Got up at like 4.30 to get everything cracking. Boys in the truck, killed it. They came in at about 5.30, 6 o'clock to get ready for everything. The food was top notch, um, good performance. So we really happy about that. But um, yeah, we haven't, we, we haven't really gotten into anything. So I just wanted to let y'all know that that's what's going down. Oh. Yep, break time. We out here. We out here. Um, good service. Crazy little interview. <laughs> it went fast. First time being live on TV. This is a lot easier because if I don't like this video, I just delete it. And y'all never see it or ever have to even hear about it. But uh, for this live thing, it was like answering questions right there on the air and stuff. And I had my glasses on, my old man glasses on. I didn't realize they i got them transition lenses in there so looked like i had sun shades on there but actually it probably just looked like i had old man transition shades on actually it's probably what it looked like but in any way <laughs> any event it was a good cool little interview uh nice to get the the truck some uh, publicity and a little love for the for the bar as well too so we're gonna pick it up from here um because it's too much to miss out on a follow us to work day um damn i can see the lake right through there Lake Union right there. Can you see it? You look right in between those two buildings. Lake Union's right there. We, we down here. Downtown Seattle. The sun is shining. Summer's not over yet. It's beautiful out here. A beautiful, beautiful day. We had an absolute blast. We're going to take the truck back to the bar. Sell some food there for a couple of hours. Because it's so nice out. And uh, celebrate a little bit. Uh, no events this weekend, so y'all can just pick up the rest of uh, the, the follow us to work day. Follow us to work day midday. It's almost noon. We're about expecting one more pop from the Q13 crew down here. Um, there is some crazy breaking news, I guess, locally. So some of the people are up there working hard, but it was a good, excellent interview this morning. Good first rush, hearing great things from people. Um, about the food, which is what it's all about. It's about the food and giving the brand a little love. These guys is inside killing it. We got Jill in there. We got Mike in there. JT was doing his thing. So, you know, just another day here. Carriage Square. Action Sports Bar and Grill. Action Food Truck. Follow us to work, yo. Well, not only is it Blue Friday, I got my 12-pin on now. It is also Food Truck Friday. Rashad and Action Sports Bar and Grill. First off, I love the name Action Sports Bar and Grill. Tell us a little bit about your truck. Well, uh, our truck is uh, based out of Kent, our sports bars down there. And basically what we did is took our most popular specials that we run throughout the week down there, and we just took them on the road with us. So I think you might have grabbed one of our, see, that's a kale salad. We have some healthy stuff here, oh, too. Oh, see, this is good. You, you know why? Because, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the first thing Bill pulled out was the kale salad. You like a good kale salad, Bill? I love a good kale salad. You want, let me get you what you really want. You're here for the brisket. Yeah, everybody's here for the brisket. Let's get to it here. All right. First up, we've got the brisket soul bowl. That's oh, fantastic. Man. You get mac and cheese. This is what I'm talking about right here. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this is what we're talking about. Can I get to the mega pole? What is the ideal tailgate food? How could you do better than this? You know what? I think you have uh, four of the top food groups there. <laughs> Pretty well good with that. Uh, let's see what else we got.
else we got coming out next? Oh, look at that. We got some loaded fries. Everybody loves the disco fries. These are with brisket again, too. We feature a different smoked meat every time we come out. Today, we've got the pork, and we've got brisket. Uh, of course, we've got smoked wings as well, too. Yeah, you, so guys, have, you guys have a brick and mortar. You have your, your uh, sports bar, but you decided to just, just take it on the road. How did, you, how did you come up with all this food? Uh, well, you know, this is, uh, we've been in this industry, you know, myself over 20 years. Um, the rest of my crew is about 75 years of experience, and this is just the food we like to eat. It's comfort food. It's super approachable. It's familiar to everybody. Everybody loves a good wing. Well, our smoked wings are fantastic. So. And, you know, when I, think, when I think sports, this is the kind of food that, I, that I'm thinking about for sure. You know, the wings and the, the mac and cheese and the brisket. Bill, Bill, I got to ask out, how is it? Well, the brisket melts in your mouth. And this is a, a fun little combo, too, because you get the peas and the mac and cheese all in one bite. <laughs> I got you with the belt ball, for sure. Oh, and, we, and you guys the do dessert. The best thing we have on the from the truck, though, are these handmade cookies, these salted chocolate chip cookies. Mama Tate comes in every shift and bakes us a fresh batch of these. Oh. We have a white chocolate here, or we also have a warm chocolate chip. They're both fantastic. What do you have on? You're what? getting grabby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm going to yeah, get grabby. Yeah, I'm going to get grabby. It's white chocolate. You'll like, love it. Oh, it's white chocolate. Yes. I'm my favorite. What, what is your favorite thing on your menu? If it's me and I'm picking it, I'm going with the soul bowl, but with the wings. We'll let you do the soul bowl with any protein you like. You can do it with the brisket, you can do it with the pork, but I would do it with the wings. Okay, and, and where can people find you, uh, you know, when you're out with your truck? Uh, well, uh, you can find us in Kent at the sports bar all the time. Also, the Seattle Food Truck site and the Street Food Finder are both places to find us where we're mobile, but really, catering is our thing, so if you need people to be fed, give us a shout. We'll, we'll be in your neighborhood, HOAs, whatever. Right. Uh, because I have to talk still, I'm going to try that cookie right, right at the very end. What else do we have going on here? Oh, uh, we've got some lemonade in there. We do a peach and a strawberry lemonade, of course. We've uh, got Monster Energy drinks when we hit, like, the job sites. Everybody loves that. <laughs> yes, sir. But, uh, yeah, we've got Otter Pops for the kids when we go out, so a little bit of everything. Can we give a shout out to the, the two folks here inside? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so uh, I got both of my brothers working on the truck for us. It's a family operation. I got my lady in there. She's our general manager and events manager. My kid helps out. Mama cooks the cookies. So this it's is just a, a family run operation. This is a family run operation. That's fantastic. Yeah, and where can people find you guys on social media? Uh, actually, right here, Action Sports Bar. You can follow us on all our socials. And uh, we'll be at uh, Bloomingfield for two Seahawks games this year. We did Taylor Swift last month. Uh, oh, I bet so that was crazy. It yeah. was a blast both days. So. Real quick, what do we have going this on right is, here? Uh, so the other meat we went with today, this is the smoked pork mac and cheese. Oh. So. Man. This one's ridiculous. <laughs> it really is. I, for me, I put a little bit of the barbecue sauce on there, but we nice keep it nice and plain for everybody else to really enjoy each part of it. Oh, so. my goodness, Rashad. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's heavy. It's heavy. This is, a, this is weighty. <laughs> that, I mean, that, that is heavy. <laughs> that is heavy. Thank you so much. You Check out right Action Sports Bar and Grill. Thank Thanks for coming much, out guys. with us. Thank you very much. Yeah, 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 go Seahawks. Go Cougs this weekend. I guess go Huskies, too, huh? Have a great I do have a pro tip for this video. And the pro tip on this one is take every opportunity that you can to put your brand in front of people's eyes. If that's a print thing, if it's online, hell, even if it's a radio thing, anything you can do to expose your brand to more people, especially when you're starting, uh, I think it's going to be a positive thing, especially if you have uh, some kind of way of controlling your narrative like this was an interview so we could prepare whatever menu we wanted. Um, if you have some kind of way of showcasing things that you want, if you have any type of uh, input into the marketing, take advantage of it, especially when you're new, because you never know what's going to come out of it. I know that for this particular interview, we had some correspondence with some guests on our social media from the time that the interview aired at nine o'clock in the morning until the time we finished service at about one. And by the time we had gotten back to the bar, we had a guest that drove like an hour and a half after seeing our segment in the morning, um, drove up from way south just to come check us out and, and see about the wings. So, uh, they have turned into regulars that we've seen three or four times now since then when they're passing through town. And so you never know what 
is going to come out of these interviews. It might be, a, you might book a, an event out of it because someone sees you. You might be invited to an, a concert or some big uh, stadium uh, type of event because someone saw you on there. You might do host a private party or a wedding. You never know how it's going to turn into something good for your brand. So my pro tip is take every opportunity that you can, especially initially, uh, to get your brand in front of people. Um, I guess bonus tip <laughs> along with that. Uh, I think you need to uh, make sure that you prepare for whatever you're, if you're going to be on someone's podcast, listen to a couple of their podcasts. If you're going to be on a radio interview, listen to the segment before you go on. We did uh, this food truck Friday there. All of the past food truck Fridays were on YouTube. So I just took a couple of days and watched a few of them just to kind of get a vibe for how they go. Um, you know, like the old coaches used to say back in the day, separations in the preparation, you know, prepare ahead of time and it will give you a better chance to do well uh, in these type of situations. Uh, we haven't been on any podcast yet, but I'm sure that'll happen one day, um, you know, and now that we've had the TV interviews and we've done a couple of radio things for us, um, we jump at every opportunity we can to try to expose the brand to new people. So that's my pro tip on this one. Appreciate y'all tuning in. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks.